Wow, huge inflation number. Hello everyone, welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in real estate, mortgage, and the housing industry. Today is April 12th, Tuesday, kind of doomsday here for the American economy. The CPI number came out this morning and here is the headline from CNBC. Consumer prices rose 8.5% in March, slightly hotter than expected and the highest since 1981. I think after we break this down and we're, we're noticing that the surge in food and energy and shelter costs, you know, are just exploding. We're, what's more concerning to me is the month over month, you know, increase before everyone, you know, was saying at the Fed, hey, you know, we're, you know, or at the federal government, hey, we're going up half a percent here, half a percent there. Well, this month, month over month from February to March is 1.1% enormous jump. And 8.5% is the biggest since 1981. Actually, that's the year I graduated. I'm going to date myself right there. But that's the year I, I graduated. Wow. Wow. I have a 40-year reunion that just went by. Crazy. Crazy. But these are the huge numbers that we're seeing. This is not good. There is nowhere end in sight at this moment. And, and if you look and break it down per industry, it's the only industry that can really, that the government can really help out in is in the fuel industry, you know, the energy industry. That's where we can make that big difference. But right now, they, again, since the administration came into power, you know, about 18 months ago, they refused to open up those pipelines and let the oil flow and be dependent and where we can lower gas costs and food costs you know, and energy costs, but they've, they've kind of held back on that. And we just need to see maybe some more pressure on the administration or just elections all change, you know, and, uh, and the, the mid. So next particular article here is from CNBC. It says sales and short supply. It says we're nearly 70% deficit in home inventories. It says Black Knight's Andy Walden. This is crazy numbers as well. We're seeing a decrease in the amount of homes that are for sale pre-pandemic. So they're down 68%, crazy numbers. As many as 800,000 active lin lin listings short heading into spring. Uh, I, again, this is going to drive home prices. Even though we're seeing this enormous jump in interest rates, home prices are just going to continue to tick up because there's just not enough homes on the market for the amount of people who are looking to buy them. So we're just, again, we're seeing all the different aspects of this real estate market just kind of pull and tug against each other. We're going to see what really happens here in the next 90 days. And of course, the last part is going over the rates here and it's just been a bloodbath on rates and it continues. As of yesterday at 5 p.m., it the conforming rate, the 30 year conventional rate went up 10 basis points. Now it's at five and almost five and a quarter. We're looking at 15 year conforming just exploded, went up 14 basis points to 4.3. And then the FHA again keeps ticking up its point. It went up about six basis points to five, uh, a little over 5.06%. These numbers are just not stopping. Inflation is really hurting us, which is in turn causing the Fed to make these big decisions and, and increase the interest rates. And we are just getting punished over and over on the short term here. So at this point, we don't see any, any relief in sight, at least in the next 30, 60 days. But we're hoping that maybe somewhat some extraordinary things such as the war slows down or even peace talks begin. Things like that can begin the road to heal ourselves and maybe lower our energy prices lower inflation and, and hopefully lower interest rates. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Hit the like button if you like our content. Otherwise, hit the notification button when we drop these daily YouTubes. Yeah, we will, uh, you'll get notified on that as well. All right, you guys take care. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday.